It was in 1989 that Stonewall formed, and it was the largest gay equality organization in Europe. And Sir Ian McKellen and Lisa Power, Matthew Paris and Michael Cashman, they wanted to lobby against Section 28 of the Local Government Act, and it was ridiculous. It, it stated that local authority shouldn't intentionally promote homosexuality or publish material that promoted it. Stonewall commissioned this research called Playing It Safe, and it showed the widespread homophobic bullying in schools. And it's just sad that at such a young age, kids were taught how to hate the gay community. There was a new identity in the 90s, LGBT, lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgendered. And this gave everyone an identity. It brought positive life on the gay community and shaped our world. Finding LGBT was crucial and fueled us. It fueled political and cultural energy and change. A mass coming out. There was even a radio show, Freedom FM, and it was the first gay and lesbian radio broadcast in London. And it was in the early 90s that I started to get a sense of who I actually was. I turned 18 in 1990, and that's when I found it, the whole gay community in London. Then it was just about the club life. We were given the freedom to express ourselves, and we were accepted by everyone. The first time I went to trade a nightclub at Turnmills off of Clerkenwell, it was a surreal blur. Being in that club setting, I felt like I belonged, and it was finally okay to be gay. AIDS was everywhere. There was something like 450,000 AIDS cases. But to us in that scene, AIDS didn't matter. We didn't let AIDS affect us. Well, at least for those first couple years. We would escape to the clubs instead. We felt safer there. At least we didn't run the chance of hate crimes or gay bashing. And although trade gave me a haven, it also introduced me to some pretty bad things. Honestly, what did you expect from a club that opened at four? It was like watching a downward spiral and I just couldn't escape. People were promiscuous and doing any drugs they had. There was so much AIDS awareness going on in London, but people didn't seem to care. They saw no need to get tested. It was just, I know I have it, what's the point of getting tested?